Hey everyone, it's Metal Dragon. I just wanted to show you the progress on my 03 Expedition I bought. I bought it with uh, engine problems. Uh, the guy that I bought it from supposedly bought it, tried to fix it, and then still had some issues afterwards. He said it was a rock arm that fell off and was still making some noise after he rebuilt everything. And so I bought it cheap, fairly cheap, but he said it was just a rock arm. I took the top off, uh, the valve cover, and it was still... I looked at it, nothing was wrong with it. So I put it all back together, started up, and sure enough, there was a nice big rod knock. Um, so I, uh, luckily, expeditions are hard to work on. Ford in general, I like my Chevys and my Dodges, but luckily with this car, I was able to pull the oil pan off right there with it still in the vehicle. So I just, uh, as you see here, the front axle, I dropped it on this side. I had to take it off because it was hitting the, uh, the, the suspension. So on both sides, I took it off. And I, uh, I took out two bolts so I could pivot it on the third one on the top. You probably won't be able to see, but anyhow, um, I pivoted it down and slowly worked the transmission pan or oil pan, engine oil pan out. Um, and now I'm looking at all the uh, connecting rods, and they all look pretty good because he said he pulled it out and put new pistons on it. The guy he bought it from, I guess, bought it as a project and um, never finished it and gave it all to him with new pistons. So he ended up putting pistons in it. It's an 05 Ford engine, uh, 5.4 liter. Um, and it had like 30,000 miles on it, but he still put new pistons in. I don't think he ever honed it though, which is kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Hopefully the seals, or hopefully the rings seal. Anyhow, just to show you, um, when he uh, put it back together, it looks like he didn't tighten one all the way. He didn't crank it, or he didn't torque it down. So as you see right there, that's going to cause your rod knock. There's a gap between the connecting rod and the connecting rod cap. And sure enough, there's your clearance that's going to cause a knock, so hopefully there's not too much damage and I can rebuild it. There's also water in the engine. He was doing it in the driveway. He has a garage, but he was doing it in the driveway. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how much of it was done, how much of the block was actually outside when he, uh, when he was working it. So, anyhow, it had water in it when I pulled the, or when I drained the oil out. So, that was probably not the greatest for it and I'm still gonna have to flush it. I might even pick up or replace the oil tube, pickup tube, because there's a little sediment in it. So I don't know. Still debating on that. That wouldn't be too expensive, but now that I've got the pan off it definitely would be a good time to do it. As far as everything else seems fine. The pistons look good. The uh, cylinders look good. Everything else seems fine. I'm gonna have to check the clearances. There's a little play in there, but I know they're supposed to be or there's allowable. There's some allowable. Um, so I'm going to check that. I'm going to check the measurement on this uh, journal, on the crank journal there, and hopefully I can still use it because I really don't want to pull this engine out. The bearing halves, and I measured them both with my dial dial calipers, which is about the best measuring device I have around here, but um, basically they're both about 1.9 millimeters um, thick all around. So I'm happy with that. I have a plastic gauge so I can actually measure the uh I'll grab it real quick. So I can measure the distance, the clearance between the bearings and the uh crank journal when I reinstall this. So I'm happy with it doesn't look like it's been damaged too much. I mean it's it's normal wear and uh on both sides. Nothing really looks damaged. Um, obviously, I'm going to change the rod bolts. So I'm going to use these just for the plastic gauge, um, just so I can see what kind of uh, clearances I have. And if the clearance is good, I can reuse the bearings and the. Well, I can reuse the bearings, and I can re. I don't have to change the crank or do anything like that because everything will be within specification. Even if it's slightly over, I'll just put a little thicker oil or put some uh, heavy-duty oil stabilizer or something in there to. Uh, compensate um, but I don't think I'm gonna have to because everything looks good so far the plastic gauge will be the tell so uh, I'm excited ready to go do that um, here in a second and then, like I said I'm gonna reuse the uh, rod bolts just so I can uh, compress compress the plastic gauge so I can get an accurate clearance um, figure out of that and you know make sure it's within tolerance and if it is well the uh, Ford 
Ford Porsche store is closed today and tomorrow because it's Saturday. And uh, yeah, if it's all good, what I'm probably going to do is not just get rod bolts for these, but I'm, I don't know which ones he probably also didn't torque, so I'm going to have to go back and basically put new bolts in every single one of them because I don't know which ones are good and which ones aren't. And it's a pain to pull that stupid uh, oil pan out, so I'm just going to redo all of them. It shouldn't take too long. won't be too bad, but, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Here's the verdict. We have clearance of a little less than 0.76 millimeters, 0 0.076 millimeters, which it says in the manual is good. Uh, it's just right there. I didn't torque the bolt all the, or torque this all the way down just because I don't know how well these uh, rod bolts are gonna do, and I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to snap them off because they've been subject to high load or uh, shock load from going up and down, and uh, yeah, I just don't want it to to snap them off because that would uh, cause quite a bit more of a problem. Anyhow, I'm gonna check it again. I checked it. It's almost at top dead center now, so I'm gonna try it again with it coming down. Just to make sure, I'm going to torque it down a little more because this one maybe 5, probably less than 10 foot-pounds of uh, torque to get this. But even with this, it's still within acceptable range. Like I said, if there's any type of, I mean, I don't think there's going to be any noise, but if there was, i just put a little oil stabilizer or something in there for now. Anyhow, thanks for watching.